Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You got it right. Hey, what's up YouTube friends and fam? It's Cousin Ryan and I had just reviewed the Rusty Ecto license plate uh, the other day and I had mentioned that I would ordered a second license plate and I believe this to be it. It just came in the mail this evening, the Ecto 1A license plate. So if you're interested in a Rusty Ecto, check out my other video. I will link the previous video in the description down below. So here we go. Really happy with the uh, quality of the Rusty Ecto-1 license plate. This, I got the Black Friday deal or Cyber Monday, whatever it was, $10 for the Ecto-1A, uh, $3 shipping, so $13. I'd been looking and wanting to buy an Ecto-1A license plate for a while, and I had seen them. I know there were other deals out there too, but anywhere from $25, $30 sometimes, and I just couldn't quite pull the trigger, and then when this one came up, I decided I had to do it. Again, this is shrink-wrapped like the other one. Um, it's stamped. Appears to be aluminum. Uh, super high quality. I'm really happy with this. I finally have an Ecto 1A license plate. Um, I think I want to do a video in the future debating whether the Ecto 1 and the Ecto 1A are in fact two separate cars in canon and movie canon. Obviously, they're two separate cars in real life. Or was the Ecto 1A? an upgraded Ecto-1. Uh, if you've followed any of the news or anything from the new Ghostbuster movie, I don't think a poster is spoilerish, right? I mean, it's already out on the poster. The Ecto-1, the actual original looking rusty Ecto-1 is on there. So would they go back from the Ecto-1A to the Ecto-1 for this new movie? Or is it two separate cars that, hey, maybe they'll get brought together in this movie? Who knows? Anyway, um, not much else to say. I really am pleased with the quality of this. Again, these both came from Celebrity Machines. Um, I ordered them on their website, and they've also got a uh, Facebook page, eBay, Amazon, the RPF, which I'm not sure what that is, and it also says as seen on TV, www.celebritymachines.com. Or if you're a Cobra Kai fan, that would be www. Period. Celebrity Machines period calm anyway if you have watched cobra kai you get that joke so uh here's just a quick look at some of the other license plates that they offer pretty sweet lots of stuff on there i think i may get the uh, barcode back to the future license plate from the delorean and i also wouldn't mind having the one from the general lee and that jurassic park one's kind of cool too i don't know there's some cool stuff here anyway but as for right now, I'm really pleased that I finally got the Ecto-1 plate, Ecto-1A plate, excuse me, I looked at this, the rusty Ecto-1, but I finally got the Ecto-1A plate, and I'll be honest, I think the Ecto-1A is my favorite of the two cars, just for me personally, it doesn't need to be your favorite, but I think it's my favorite, so um, I will also make mention too, this is accurate to... Uh, the end of the movie? Oh gosh, now I'm getting it mixed up. How am I going to call myself a true fan? Two versions of this license plate show up in Ghostbusters 2. One with the Statue of Liberty in the center and one with it off to the side. So this, I believe, is what the fan base would consider the most accurate version though. Anyway, it's getting late. Enough talking for tonight. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll talk to you next time. You know what's so it's cousin Ryan and the Hollywood Boulevard. You know what's so it's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.